Welcome to this video. Here we will introduce the steps of unboxing and installation, and debugging of product AIW 5.1, B Plus Sun, 10K, SG02 LP1, AU to everyone. First, check the packaging of the battery. After unboxing, take out the accessories and the battery pack. Inspect the battery surface for scratches, and confirm that all accessories are included. Perform similar operations on the inverter. Now, let's go over the battery accessories. Here's an overview of PDU interfaces. The buttons are respectively BMS switch, positive terminal, and negative terminal. Parallel communication, iron port. Power circuit breaker. On this side are in the port for communicating with inverter and parallel communication out port. For installation, you'll need the following tools. And we recommend wearing the following protective gear during the process. Now let's start the floor installation, first place the base, then stack the battery modules, and finally place the PDU. Now the battery stacking is complete. Now begin the inverter grounding connection. For 10 kW inverter we recommended PE wire, 10 mm squared, 6 AWG. Use OT terminals to connect the PE wires from grid, load, and GEN to the grounding bar. Wiring for a single cluster of batteries. Pass the BMS communication cable through one of the gland cover marked with COM at the bottom of the inverter. Wrap the BMS communication cable of the battery around the smaller magnetic ring for four turns, and note that an appropriate length needs to be left at the end for wiring. Pass the end of the battery power cable, with crimp DT terminals, through the gland cover at the bottom of the inverter, and the magnetic ring, which is used for the incoming battery power cable. Unscrew the fastening screws on the inverter's battery terminals, use the fastening screws to fix the battery's P plus and P cables according to the polarity indicators on the inverter, and then tighten the screws clockwise. Use the BMS communication cable that has been wrapped around the magnetic ring to connect the BMS port of the inverter with the PC's port of the battery PDU module. When multiple clusters of batteries are connected in parallel, external DC bus or one or more combiner boxes are required. Connect the power cables of each cluster of batteries to the combiner box according to their polarity, and then use a set of 70mm squared power cables to connect the positive and negative copper bars of the combiner box to the battery power terminals of the inverter. The connection of communication cable of the battery Parallel communication port out of master battery to parallel communication port IN of slave battery 1, out communication port of slave battery 1 to IN communication port of slave battery 2, and so on. Connect the communication port PCs of the master battery to the BMS port of the inverter. Now start the AC cable connection. Thread the AC cables through the gland cover at the bottom of the inverter and lead them into the inverter. Connect the wires according to the port usage indication and polarity marks. The wiring of AC cables includes two scenarios, partial backup and whole house backup. Wiring diagram for partial backup. Wiring diagram for whole house backup. Now start the inverter and PV connection. Different PV strings connected to the same MPPT must use PV modules of the same model. The number of PV modules in series must be consistent, and their installation orientation and tilt angle must also be kept consistent. The maximum PV input current of each MPPT is 26 ampere, so it is recommended to use a 2.5 mm squared PV1F cable. If the wiring distance is far, 4mm2 or 6mm2 PV1F cables can also be used to reduce transmission loss. Strip 10mm of insulation from the end of the PV cable. Connect multiple PV strings separately according to their polarities. PV1, PV2, and PV3 correspond to three MPPTs, with each MPPT having two PV string input ports. The two strings intended for parallel connection need to be connected to the same MPPT. Now start the CT or meter wiring. Thread the CT cable into the inverter through the gland cover at the bottom of the inverter. Connect the white wire of the CT to terminal 5 and black wire to terminal 6. 
clamp the CT onto the live line on the incoming side of the main switch in the main switchboard. You can use a CAT6 network cable or an IS485 shielded twisted pair to connect the communication port of the meter to the meter port of the inverter. Now we start the installation of the data logger. Remove the dust cover from the data logger port at the bottom of the inverter. Plug the data logger into the DB9 port of the inverter according to the quick guide, then secure it with the screws from the package. Complete the network configuration of the data logger according to the steps in the quick guide. Use a 2.4G Wi-Fi network and ensure good Wi-Fi signal at the installation site.